And you've got to keep the hose moving all the time. Otherwise, the concrete, if I leave it sit for a while, the concrete will build up. With this controller, Sean Robertson could be pouring a concrete slab on top of a five-story building. There's no difference to it whatsoever. All the controls make the truck do exactly the same thing. Only he doesn't need a building or concrete. So you can see I've hit the side of the building. And mistakes are far less costly. This is the first simulator ever created to teach concrete pump operation. They hit the button, there comes the concrete out, and they know how to change the flow of the concrete with the remote, and you know when they should maneuver and whether when they should stop the concrete. If you go the other way, it brings it there. So I've just had about five minutes training on how to operate this complicated piece of heavy machinery. I'm now considered legally qualified to operate it. Some of them are up to 200 feet long when, and they're full of concrete and you can actually lay them down flat and everything so there's been a lot of accidents.